let's look at the features provided by quality center for analyzing testing process progress of requirements test plan test runs and defect tracking can be evaluated by using quality center reports and graphs you can generate reports and graphs at any time during the testing process from quality center following are the three methods for this purpose generating reports generating graphs generating live analysis graphs let's look at how reports and graphs are generated quality center reports and graphs help in analysis and quick decisions standard reports and graphs are available in each module like summary progress or trend reports and graphs can be customized as per requirements Let's generate a standard requirements report and customize the report for a specific username and add it to your favorites folder. In the requirements module, click Analysis, Reports, Standard Requirements Report. The report opens displaying the default data. Click the Configure Report and Sub Reports button. Click the filter icon. The filter dialog box opens up. Under the author, give condition KR2625 My ID. Click OK. In the field section, you can also customize the fields that are visible in the report. Let's check to the defaults. Click the apply button. The customized report is now generated. To add the report to favorites, click add to favorites button. Give name as standard requirements. Author. You have an option to do have this favorite as private or public. Click OK. The report is now reflected in the report tree. You can you can manage the favorites using the edit favorites button. Now, let's generate a defect graph to summarize the defects by status and priority levels. In the defects module, choose analysis, graphs, summary, group by status. By default, the graph is grouped by status. Let's set a filter to display graphs or defects greater than Safari 2, which are closed. To do so, click the filter button. Select defect status as closed. Click OK. Select priority greater than equal to severity 2. Click OK. Click OK again to close the filter dialog box. Click the refresh button to generate a new report. In the x-axis, choose priority. The graph shows there are 836 defects with severity 2 in closed status and 241 defects with severity 3 in closed status. If you click on the bar segment of the graph, The drill down results dialog box is shown. That is the defects that are comprising the first part of the graph. If you click the pie chart tab, 
the graph is displayed as pie chart. If you click the data grid tab, the graph data is displayed in a grid.